Hey, I assume you're here because you want to get into the data analytics field or because you like this really cool background behind me. In either case, I'm here to solve one of your problems. Now, let's get out of here. Much better. Do you want to get into the data analytics field and don't know where to start? In this video, I'm hoping to make your data analytics roadmap a little clearer. You may have heard from your friends or done your own research online that in order to work as a data analyst, you need to be a coding wizard. Um, now, there are a lot of old school books <coughs> real boring out there that you can start reading and cry immediately uh, or you can watch this video and I can make your life a little easier. All right, now where do we start? We can spend a lot of time and a ton of videos discussing the variety in job descriptions and what it takes to become an expert level data analyst. But in reality, job descriptions differ companies have different needs, and I'm gonna be honest with you, there are a few ingredients that you need to make sure you add into your mix. So let's get started. Number one, SQL or SQL, how some of you may like to call it, stands for Structured Query Language, and it's one of the easiest programming languages out there. The syntax is so easy to learn. Uh, it's very, very similar to spoken language, and it's gonna be your building block of becoming a data analyst. Now, if you're lucky, you already have in your company or the company that you want to work out a data team with some very smart data engineers. Those data engineers are gonna pull the data that your company needs into a database and tables. And if you're lucky, they're gonna clean it in the process. Now, if you're unlucky, you're gonna have to learn how to clean your data yourself. This is a topic for a different video where I'm gonna show you exactly the tips and tricks of cleaning your own data in Python this time. Now, SQL is a very broad language and a lot of the times companies are gonna to come to you and tell you to solve a problem. If the problem that you're trying to solve is gonna be complex, well, you're gonna have to learn that baby up from the beginner level to expert level because SQL has quite a few tips and tricks that's gonna make your life a little easier. Number two, Python and R. Python and R are two different programming languages. You use them in two different IDEs. They're different softwares, but their goal is pretty much the same. As a data analyst, you're gonna have a lot of statistical analyses to do, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not always necessary to know Python and R uh, for your job. Again, it depends on the job descriptions. But for your interview and to up your chances of actually landing that job, you will need to learn them. So when it comes to Python, the easiest thing that you need to know is how to clean your data. And when it comes to R, what you need to know is that it's used for mostly very heavy statistical analyses and it's a lot slower than Python. So try to avoid using R if you can. If you can't, you're gonna have to wait. It is what it is. Number three, Tableau or Power BI or any other software you might use for your data analytics needs. Now, if you remember at the beginning of our video, we said that the data analytics job description differ. But I'm going to be honest with you, being able to visualize your findings, it's one of the most important data analyst features you need as a data analyst to know how to express your findings in a very easy and understandable way for your stakeholders. So learning software is like Tableau or Power BI, it's imperative for your data analytics journey. And number four, storytelling. Storytelling, as I said, is very connected to your data analytics findings and the way you visualize your findings in Tableau. If you don't know how to express your findings in an easy way, you need to learn how to do that. So storytelling is very, very, very important when it comes to uh, 
delivering your findings to your stakeholders. Those are going to be very important because stakeholders are going to take your findings and they're going to plug that into the business and hopefully make some money. Otherwise, uh, improve your product, right? So if you learn how to storytell your analysis, it will make your life so much better. So being very good at communication is your key. This was it for today. I really hope I made it a little clearer on where you can start on your data analytics journey. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.